I'm back. All right. It's been about two months since Costco opened in New Zealand. I went the opening week. It was chaos. I spent a bunch of money. I made a video about it and people gave me all kinds of tips. So I am back. I listened to everyone's advice. You know, I'm not going to waste my time on the Christmas things. I'm going to go straight to the meat today and try and find some good deals on groceries. I'm still going to look at everything, but I'm going to be more mindful. I've got a list, a budget, and really I have a time limit because I'm 38 weeks pregnant so I'll either have to pee or go into labor so wish me luck today I'm taking you along let's go for some reason I thought it would be quiet at Costco it was not it was a complete madhouse um, anyways we went straight to the meat started looking at these pieces of beef 143 bucks for two kgs of scotch fillet what looks like an entire cow for 344 dollars um, some beautiful looking I think it's New York strip and the pork mince was a little bit more, more up my budget alley. Uh, $49 for four kgs of that. There were some interesting cuts of pork, like this top top side. I don't even know what that is. Pork loin, they're big, juicy steaks. Um, these fillets looked really good, so I got a couple of these, and they're $33, yes please. Almost got some ribs, but I don't really know how to cook these. I just know how to eat them, so I left that. Went over to the chicken aisle and these free range chicken, thigh, chicken thighs are $45. Um, they looked pretty good until I saw the ones that are not free range, but more affordable, 33 bucks for all those. So I got a couple of those and some of these whole chickens, they're free range, $21.99. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I did wait in line and get the big old beef mince. It's almost four kgs, yes please. Once I finished up spending hundreds of dollars on meat, I decided to peruse the rest of the store. There's lots of different kinds of cheeses and massive amounts as well. $19.99 for these huge things of halloumi. Love halloumi. Massimo's is such a good brand. I love their mozzarella. That was ricotta. Very intrigued by these ribs. You just warm them up. I guess they're all cooked and everything. $34.99. Ooh, I love those ribs. I thought these would be great for a party. $25.99 for of these parcel things. Oh my God, the macarons, they're so beautiful. $33.99, totally unnecessary for me personally, but look how gorgeous they are. $6.99 for a three pack of pepperoni. That seems like a pretty good deal. And look at the prosciutto. Oh my gosh, I love prosciutto. $27.99 for all that prosciutto. If I wasn't pregnant, I would have bought that, I think, but I didn't. These are the absolute best fries. I knew I had to get them. They come in two kg bags and they are delicious. I've heard so many things about this carrot cake. It's $34.99. Has anyone tried this? I really am intrigued if it's good or not. There's a lot of frozen berries and frozen cherries, which I thought I haven't seen that in New Zealand. Maybe I'm wrong, but um, frozen cherries. Very interesting, $9.49. Bourbon infused coffee. I mean, hey, we all have those days, right? Has anyone tried these Republica beans? I would love to know if they're good or not. I don't know, do we trust beans from Melbourne or are they just too Australian? I don't know. Um, Giancarlo coffee, I've never heard of it. I'm wondering if it's any good. The bacon, $13.79 for a kg of streaky bacon. Yep, that's awesome. I feel like it's a great deal. My kids love bacon too, so I got a pack of that. I saw a lot of these cookie dough things I didn't see last time. So they're like raw cookie dough. You can eat it raw or cook it. Interesting, not necessary for me, but um, lots of cheese. You can get two kgs of cheese for about $30, all shredded up. And then I hadn't seen these cheese, oh, cheese, 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 mozzarella sticks, which are great for kids' lunches. There's 48 pack, I definitely got some of those. They have the mini bay bells, the same as last time. I usually make my own pizza dough, but this is already pre-made and in balls for you already. $8.49 for eight different doughs. I thought that was excellent. Uh, really good deal. And then if money was no thing to me, mozzarella sticks and jalapeno pop, well, we call them poppers where I grew up, but um, wow, mozzarella sticks, my favorite. I just perused the cookie aisles because, you know, I had to see what was available. There's lots of Christmas cookies and little mini pies and things like that. Um, I mean, this would last maybe 30 seconds in my house, maybe even just the car ride, who knows? This giant pack of salsa looks great. It's medium though, and um, I've got kids, so not happening. The best sea salt flakes in the world, $38.99 for that tub, but where will it fit in my pantry? <laughs> um, lots of olive oil. I think the olive oil is a fantastic deal. I did end up getting two liters of extra virgin olive oil. There's just some random things. I've tried these before and they're great. Um, not in my budget today, but 
you know, just thought you might want to see. Lots of different hot sauces, heaps of hot sauces. Um, sriracha, $15.99 for a two pack of that. Yeah, that's great. There's also the peri peri sauces. And there was this excellent looking sample pack called the hot sauce challenge. I thought that would be a really good gift for someone if they're into hot sauce, $29.98. I saw a couple different kinds of these butter chicken sauces. I think for convenience sake, if you wanted to like not have to make butter chicken from scratch, that would be useful. I was intrigued by these fruit ice things. There's 24 pack for $16.99. Obviously you freeze them when you get home. Then I got into the Christmas stuff. I mean, there's all kinds of mince pies, panettone cookies. They had out a couple of hampers. If you're just into giving hampers, these look okay. They're Whitaker's ones for $129. These Burt's Bees chapsticks, I love Burt's Bees, $25.99 for a six pack. And then they have the tinted ones, which are more like lip gloss. There's four pack for $40. So they end up being about $10 each. Uh, you can always buy these big things in nuts, $18.99. Ooh, watch this guy crash his cart. Boom. <laughs> it was crazy there, I'm telling you. How cute is that, um, that little train though? Oh, I would love to have that in my yard. But at $400, it's a little bit expensive for me personally. This is very cute, $350 for this Christmas tree. I loved this centerpiece for some reason, $119.99. I just thought it was so classy looking. And I always wondered how much those were. They're $500. Has anyone bought a big bear? I would just love to see what that looks like in a house. It would take up an entire room in my house, but anyway. The toys, there were so many toys out. I didn't know there would be so many toys at Costco. I just, I just thought it was food, but there's, tons of toys and um, they start small with things like lego um, which were pretty reasonably priced i thought although these are the ones where you have to like make up the story instead of follow instructions these are the advent calendars i really wanted some of them they're 44.99 but uh, no not in the budget that ride on tractor thing is about 250 bucks not tractor it's a batmobile come on mom uh nerf guns and then i'm so glad my kids weren't here because there's like an entire nba jam arcade game for $1,199.99. What a steal. <laughs> it's so cool looking though, right? They had a few puzzles and books and look at this puzzle of Costco. I mean, could it depict it any more accurately? I don't think so. This amazing slip and slide for $199.99. Oh my goodness. That looks like so much fun. And then there's lots of sporting equipments too, like basketballs and tennis balls. This water play thing for oh, 750 bucks. A whole spa, yes please, 879.99. Lots of different kind of cookies. These, these look like good cookies, am I right? I'd love to bring one of these to a work party, but I'm done with work, thank God. Anyways, this is what we ended up with at the cashier. It took me ages to check out because it was just crazy. And I stayed within my budget, which I'm so proud of. $242.55 for 10 items, here we go starting with the giant beef which was it's premium ground beef 46.69 for it's almost four kgs i'll get so many meals out of that and it's great for summer with all the barbecues there's a giant line to get it so i knew it was a good deal um happy about that i'm happy about the bacon it's a kg of streaky bacon these shoestring fries were just re requested by my husband it's like the one thing that i brought back um Two kgs each, they're $6.49 each, um, and they're just the best fries ever. Go good in the air fryer. The thigh fillets were $33.27. I think I'll get three meals out of that. And these pork tenderloins looked gorgeous. $33.57 for three of them. Um, we've got the extra virgin olive oil, two liters of that, and the string cheese, the two whole chickens, free range chickens. And then I got some underwear for my husband for Christmas. So if you see this hubby, Merry Christmas, <laughs> you know what was coming. Hey, if you've been in a long-term relationship, you know the Christmas underwear is where it's at. So this was our haul for Costco this time around. Pretty pleased with myself for staying in my budget, uh, $242.55. And I really feel like it will last us like at least three weeks. And in case anyone wants to see what this looks like broken down here, I've done everything for the freezer. Um, we've got the pork tenderloins. I cling wrapped them separately so I could just take out one at a time. And I did three packs of chicken. And then I separated the mince into 500 grams and then one, one kg for a larger recipe. So that's what it looks like. And I did it all flat because it just, it goes better in your freezer when it's flat like that and it doesn't get as many air bubbles. 
And that's that's us. This should last us about three weeks, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Yay! And that's us for today. Thanks for watching this haul video. I love making these videos. So um, if you like watching them, then please consider a subscribe and I will hopefully see you guys very soon in another video. Bye.